Hello all, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna discuss about the serial number and the batch management of item mass data and how you can use them into the marketing document. So after finishing this video, you will know which item you have to be creating which type and how they should be managed. And create, we're gonna create the batch management manage item. We're gonna create the serial number items. We're gonna know the difference how you should be managed and what are the different uh, uh, way to use them into the SAP business one. We're going to do everything right after this. So basically three options of managed by manage item by the first one is the none which can I give you you can use that item the way you want like you don't have to manage that item in using any serial number of the batches then the second one is the serial number and the third one is the batches so the main difference if you get a group for the serial number is basically if you have to be uh, carefully that if the item is really worthy enough to create as a serial number so for example if you if you're manufacturing a laptop or if you're dealing with the laptop or for example the phones that should have the serial number in order to track them and give them the service or check the warranty like for how long you can give them support and so all those things you can manage by the serial number serial uh, number kind of item so i'm just gonna go and create one serial number so for example i'm gonna say this one is the hp laptop series sx01 i'm gonna manage it by the serial number and and we're gonna create uh, the particular item then there is uh, the, C, uh, the CL number have also the second thing is like managed method and the managed method is basically uh, that there is two kind so one is the on every transaction and the second one is on the release only so the main difference between them is like if you use it on every transaction on the document so it doesn't matter like if your item is coming to the inventory or if you are selling that item or sending that item from one warehouse to another warehouse you have to enter the serial number of that particular item every time you are creating a marketing document. So for example, if you buy that item from your vendor, you're gonna need to enter the serial number before putting that item into your inventory or the warehouse. And also you have to enter the same serial number that you just purchased to or sell to your own customers that you have. That's how the every transaction work and on the release only method you can use when you have um, you well, like for example it's it's the only kind when you are when your item is moving out of your inventory so for example if you're transferring your inventory from warehouse to another warehouse or you're just selling that item only that type of document can have the serial number and you don't have to enter any kind of information regarding the serial number in the purchase document for purchase kind of documents uh, so for example if you get some production out of your production house and uh, to the inventory on that type you on that time you don't have to uh, put any serial number and you only have to manage when you're sending that item to the customers so that's the only difference. So I'm gonna do that on for every transaction and I'm gonna add that item. The second kind of item is basically the batch kind of items. So you have you can choose the bad the batch kind of item when you have the items which have the same property like the color or the strength or the peach level or anything that have them common to make them look alike and the feel alike and have the same. Uh, kind of characteristics on them. So for example, if you're selling a tablet or the printer ink Or something that expiring at the same time, for example, the milk So those kind of item can be managed by the batch because they have their own expiration date and the sell by date And on that particular time that should be sold. So for example, I'm going to say this is the headache tablet, right? 
that we have to sell on the batches and that's also going to be managed by the batch all the time so we just created the two kind of items which are both are managed by the batch and the serial number and both are managed by on every transaction so for example when i can go and buy this item for the purchase order so basically there is one option so for example i'm going to say okay we have this guy who sell us this uh, our item was HPO, right so i'm gonna deal with this item for let's say 100 quantity from him with a one unit of uh, with one euro uh, like not one euro would be the machine so let's say 500 euro for our item and i'm gonna say i'm also gonna buy the tablet that's really hard to buy the tablet and <laughs> The laptop from the same guy, but yeah, let's say I'm gonna buy the hundred tablet um, by using um, by the price of twelve euro each. And once you, then you're gonna hit a document. So the thing is like when why the purchase order didn't pop up for adding a, uh, to creating a serial number for these items is basically the purchase order is does not affect any kind of inventory. Uh, of the uh, stock management so that time you don't have to create any serial number or the lot number it only gonna be created when you create a good CP right and when you create the GRP that time you're gonna see a pop-up window for um, defining the serial and the batch number and there is the different options that you can see the first one is the manufacturing serial number that for example you are receiving some laptops that is managed from the Lenovo and the Lenovo have their own manufacturing serial number to contact for you so you can contact with them using that serial number this serial number is for you so you can use this serial number to contact your customers then if the, if the whole laptop is in the, in the bulk of or coming in the lot then you can put the lot number like in which one the laptops was came the expiration date and the manufacturing date and if it, the warehouse is managed by the pen, you can define your uh, serial number either one by one for the hundred times, or you can use the functionality of the automatic import. In the automatic import, you can just define the manufacturing uh, serial number. All right, so I'm going to say this one is the manufacturing serial number, which can start from here and then. I'm gonna say this one is for me, for us to support our own customers. So this one is, is starting from the number two uh, with the increment uh, property, and this one is also right. And then I'm gonna create those so they are automatically generated on the hundred, and you will see once the hundred uh, lot is created, then you do not need to create furthermore, and you can just save them for serial number if like in our case there is two different kind of item one is serial and one is batch so i'm gonna go ahead and create a batch um, setup as well in this time you can gonna you're gonna get the the whole uh, batch setup the screen and in this this one you can you have some different uh, different options so you, you have a batch number you have the quantity you have if uh, it is not attributes, the expiration, manufacturing, location, and the detail, including the bill location. And you can you can basically uh, receive the uh, the tablet, the package in the different size of batches. So for example, if you're receiving a batch of ten items each of the hundred, then you're gonna say okay, I have ten. Uh, you can use same automatic export. You can say okay, I'm using the B. Uh, the BT right and the S string will be 01 which will be number and gonna be increased every time right and at that time you're gonna say okay there will be the hundred quantity and the number batches number of batches will be 10 right so you can simply create them so you will see every batches that there is 10 batches and which are divided into the 10 quantity each you can update them as per and then you can go ahead and add the document once you added the document you can see that the, uh, the inventory transaction is increased by 100 for this item and the same 100 for the 
tablets as well, right? But the thing that we already saw is like even when you're receiving the item in your inventory, that time you have to uh, put the batch information in your document. Now, when you once you created your purchase order, perform the good receipt, now you have your item into your inventory, and now you want to sell those items to your customer. So you go ahead and make a sales order. The one thing about the sales order is like when you're creating the sales order for the items managed by the batch or CEO, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, yes, I did the sell this one, and I'm going to say the tablet too, right? And by putting some quantity of, let's say, I'm uh, sending this one too, and this one three. So uh, the thing for the sales order is basically is uh, is basically in here is that for the uh, for the items for the sales order is basically defining the CDL or the batch number is pretty much optional so it's just basically you are committing uh, you are committing that particular quantity to the customer but in that case in that case you if you want to really be sure that which item you want to sell then you can define or or if you don't want to define any serial or batch number that would be also okay so you can simply go ahead and add the document in here so you already added without adding any uh, batch number or the serial number into, into the sales order right so once you already did in this then you can go into the delivery and the delivery document is something which can affect the transactions uh, into uh, the stock management and it's going to reduce the quantity by two quantity for this item and the three quantity for this item and that time when you're going to add this document then the one thing will pop up for the serial number selection you can select any of them or you can use the auto select as well and then if you pick the top two items from the list to, uh, to add them then you can again get another pop up for the batch one if you have in there you can again you either use any other batches uh, so for example if you're going to use this batch for the three quantity then you can also use using this arrow or for example if you don't want to use then you can just give one quantity from here one quantity from here like this or you can simply use the auto select and it will just pick the top the first one with the most quantity available on that particular batch and you can just update and that time once you added this one then you will see on the delivery document that okay you just sold this item from here right and then on the right click you will see a serial number transaction report and also the batch number transaction report which will show that which batch uh, sold from or which serial number sold to which can or what draw what data in which document number and for same for the serial number as well so uh, this is how the whole you know, serial number and the batch uh, the batch number works in SAP business one if you have any question please comment down below and i'm gonna uh, see everyone in the next video thank you